I don't know what you think, I know everybody's got their own preferences, but I think this is gonna work out really, really great. So I'm very happy about it. Hey, welcome to the Land Cruiser Project. All right, so yeah, as you can tell, I am all done with this thing. Uh, it is finished, and yeah, it turned out pretty good. Um, so I'll go through just a couple things. Um, you know, it's not very different in function uh, relative to uh, what we had in the 100 series. Um, you know, we've got a drawer on this side from Land Shark and uh, a fridge here. So now in this case, I've done a drawer fridge. You know, like I mentioned in the other video, I just felt like I used the space a lot better uh, when I had, um, when it was flat. And so, yeah, we let the previous owner take the, uh, the angle fridge, the big stand up, the 45 quart one. Um, because this little 30 quart, you know, 30 to 40, it's kind of not really clear what uh, what size it is, but uh, it's it's done the job for us uh, so far, so good. So yeah, I'll walk through a couple of the the little features and some of the some of the things that I've done on this to uh, kind of make it mine. And yeah, all right. So here on the left side, we have a standard Land Shark Outfitters 40 inch drawer. Uh, uh, also paired with that is the 200 series uh, driver side wing kit as well as a passenger side wing kit on this side. Now um, I did have to do a couple modifications like I mentioned. Um, it's not fully symmetrical in here, uh, meaning that the spot here for the fridge is a little bit wider than uh, what I have for the drawer here. And the reason for that is because I needed a way, and you'll notice that it's off center here. I needed a way to be able to mount this in and and you know, I didn't really figure it all out ahead of time, but what I ended up doing, um, I was planning on a little mount uh, back behind here, and it ended up being, you know, I put it like six inches back. And then there's another mount right here underneath the wing. I might, might as well just show that to you. So there's a mount right here underneath the wing. You can kind of see it down in there. And then there's two more in the back area back by the battery. And, and so what that does, and what I was hoping to accomplish is, um, this whole unit, you know, you could treat it just as all one piece, right? The wing, everything, all in the battery. Well, you'd have to take the battery out, but all this stuff is one piece. So you undo those four bolts, right? And then you can slide or lift this whole thing out. The same thing's true on this side. Um, there's, in this case, there's six bolts that are holding it all down. And the idea is, again, to loosen up those bolts and, you know, pull it all out. So I've accomplished that, but I did have to change where I was planning on having this front mount be. I moved it a little bit more forward so I could get to it. And so essentially, um, in order to get to it, you know, you take off this front panel, um, you pull that off, and you can um, get to that. You can actually kind of see it down in there. Um, that's the bolt in there. It's not going to focus, but that's it. And I'll put a picture uh, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, so anyway, um, I think it's firmly mounted. Um, maybe you could go with another uh, two things in there. Um, since the fridge is attached to that frame, you know, maybe you could consider, you know, a little bit more. But um, I think for now it's good. I don't have any reason to not think that that's enough. So one of the modifications here before I move on kind of out of the back area, um, the wing kit that comes from Landshark Outfitters, um, it doesn't include hinges to have this open up. And so um, I did those modifications, very similar to what I did on the 100 series. And um, yeah, just kind of showing off the fridge here. Um, you know, it's, it's a good size. Um, you can use all of this height here and you know, it, it hasn't let us down. We, you know, we generally do two or three day, uh, maybe even up to four day trips. And um, yeah, it's worked out, worked out well for our uses. Um, if we do have a trip where we're gonna be out longer, you know, we can supplement it with dehydrated food. Um, you know, we do have some kind of like food storage type stuff, but we could also use the mountain house stuff that's uh, available, you know, online or at REI and so on. I changed what I wanted to do um, from the 200 series and decided to go with a lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, and so by making that change, I was gonna have to move my secondary battery, battery from the engine bay up there and put it in the cab somewhere. Um, those lithium iron phosphates don't do well with the high temperatures and even sometimes the low temperatures that can be found in the engine bay. And so I moved it back here. And so let me fold up this tailgate here. But I created uh, a little space here, and, and it kind of became, you know, obvious really quickly how, you know, once I started laying things out, you know, how this was going to plan out, um, that I was going to end up with this kind of this dead space back here in the back. So, um, so I made this 
space in here to be able to you know hold all of the electronics now I'm not going to grab a light. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I've got some pictures that I can show you with how it's laid out. But here on the right side, there's the red arc. Uh, so that's the BCDC 25 or 1225D, whatever it is. Um, and and that's connected to um, the, the battery up front. And it's also connected to this uh, secondary battery. Um, so you'll notice here, you can't maybe see the brand, but it is a Battleborn battery. Did a little bit of research and felt like they provided a great solution and was able to pick it up on uh, a really good price on like Cyber Monday or whatever. Um, and they honored even though it was a little bit late. Um, a couple other things that are noteworthy in here. Again, you're not really going to be able to see, but you know, reference the pictures. I've got a little fuse panel um, that is butted up against the bottom of the frame. You can see down there, so I can only use one side of it, which is fine. I'm not planning on doing and going gangbusters. I know some people like to put, you know, more than more than a handful of, of circuits, and yeah, that's not what I'm doing here. So I've just got two circuits. Uh, one for the fridge and the other one is for um, what you're seeing the back side here which is a little control panel um, that uh, you know will give me a voltage readout so I'll show that in a second so going back to the discussion about um, you know making this side of the setup you know easily removable um, you know imagine you've got the wires that are coming from the battery and they come up into the space you're really not gonna be able to see it I'll put a picture um, but I do have down here two Anderson plugs you can kind of see you know that one so that one with the yellow cable that's the solar and um, the red one right there that's what's coming from the battery so that cable comes up from below uh, this video is gonna suck sorry so it's coming up from below and it's feeding that Anderson plug so if I needed to disconnect this and remove it all you know I'd obviously take out the battery but then I just um, you know reach in here and there the little handles on these Anderson plugs and I just pull it out and that's gonna separate and disconnect my system so that's I think gonna work out pretty well um, I still plan to put a switch up front to further isolate it uh, and there is a, a video by Andrew st. Pierre white where um, he talks about how when you, if you run your <clears throat> I digress um, so looking at it here from the other side um, you know normally I'm not really sure how we're gonna end up setting this up we normally travel with my with my daughter um, so I might throw her on this other side but um, you know in the event that we do you know roll this up or we get to camp um, you know I can do a quick check of the battery just to see what's going on um, I just flip the switch on this panel here it loads up and it'll you know read me off what the voltage is so right now it's at 3 13.22 which is I think a pretty uh, pretty full state of charge um, you know so I could do a quick check there and there's also additional plugs there there's two you know 12 volt USB plugs as well as uh, uh, sorry one 12 volt plug and then two USB plugs um, and then that switch is nice because if I don't need to be monitoring it, which I never needed to on the 100 series um, because it was just a trouble-free, headache-free solution, um, that's just a little peace of mind uh, thing. I didn't really need the panel. Um, on the 100 series, I just never had any issues with the red arc or the battery or anything like that. But having that readout, you know, that, that uh, you know, voltage readout will be a little handy and um, you know, might save me a little, little, you know, troubleshooting at some point. So another thing on the battery compartment that's worth mentioning, um, I wanted to separate this compartment before I really knew I was going to put all the electronics back there. I wanted to separate it from the, the fridge itself. And so I got this little mesh that you can kind of see in there. It runs the full, you know, the full length from left to right here to still provide airflow, but, um, you know, block that off so that, you know, nothing rolls back there into the fridge. Um, another couple things I've got here, just my solar cable all wound up so I can just undo a couple Velcros and roll that outside of the, you know, the car and connect it to my panel. And then, you know, you notice maybe the fridge connector right there. Um, so that's kind of tucked in just into this channel to kind of keep it out of the way. Um, just come some felt strips to keep the uh, top there from rattling around. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me pull the seat uh, forward and you can kind of see how it how it lines up all together. All right, so that's how it sits in there. You know, if I had the seat, um, you know, all the way forward and had this thing tucked up, you know, you could imagine putting, you know, some water or something there and, you know, being able to connect your electronics into this, you know, this little panel here if you needed to. Anyway, the whole point to all of this is just to make it be, you know, as, as simple, you know, kind of no, no fuss. And yeah, I think it turned out 
pretty good. So one other thing, this is on the driver's side. I wanted the ability to, um, mostly for my wife, to sleep inside the truck if we need to. And so on the 100 series, I did an okay job. It's not the best, um, but it worked. Uh, and this one, maybe I did a little bit better. I picked up two of these little ball catches and um, I might need to rework it a little bit but um, what this enables me to do is there's you know matching catches on the back side of this board so what I can do with this board to kind of bridge this gap between the seat and provide a nice big long um, you know place to sleep is yeah take the board you know line up those catches and it kind of likes this other side more we'll see if that works and you know, you just kind of snap it in and, you know, it more or less stays in, stays in place there. And now you can put your, you know, pad or whatever, you know, on uh, across the top and, you know, sleep away. So anyway, you can see it makes, you know, a big, a big platform uh, to kind of sleep on. You know, maybe I should have broadened that out, out to the edge, but we'll give it a shot and kind of see how it works out for us. Okay, so that's it. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what I screwed up, what I could um, have done better, what you would have done, um, you know, any, anything glaring that I need to take care of. Um, you know, I did uh, note the comment of somebody, you know, indicating to put those hinges kind of the other way or come up with something different. You know, that's, that's a good option and I might still look into that. Um, it hasn't burned me too bad um, getting into the side there, but, you know, maybe I can always change it in the future. Uh, so yeah. Let me know, um, especially let me know if this was helpful, if you learned, you know, and uh, you know, maybe came up with an idea or, you know, this inspired you to do something um, with your setup. But anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day.